Okay, I am trying to do this video for the purpose of Facebook uh, as far as an issue I'm having with my Sonic Mighty 4K uh, 3D printer here. I just put in a new motherboard in, brand new. All the plugs go back into place. There are, they are in place. The machine turns on. <clears throat> However, when it's doing the exact same thing as, which is the reason I got the motherboard. If I go here to tools and I go here to Z axis calibrate, I get that shows up, that's no problem. I hit next and here's what it does. Hit next here, I'm trying to hold the camera here, hit next. It doesn't bottom out. Can somebody explain why it doesn't do that? Now, if I hit done, hit done here, I'm gonna have to get set because it'll keep going all the way back up to the top and make a grinding sound. Yeah, I gotta have to cut it off because I don't want that. So, if someone can explain what the issue is, it can't be the Z-axis motor because if that were the case, it wouldn't do anything. It wouldn't, it wouldn't move it, it moves manually. Let me turn it back on again, just to show. I'm trying to make this as quick as possible because trying to upload this can be torture certain times a day. And I'm not wanna, okay, so you just turn back on. I go back here to tools. If I go to manual, and let's, uh, let's hit this twice. Well, let's hit that twice, the down arrow. It moves down manually. I could take this thing all the way down to the bottom, no issue. Let's, hit, let's tap it twice again. Four 20 millimeters down. Still moving down. So, uh, what I'm gonna try is I don't have a new USB drive. I do have the latest and greatest uh, software update firmware for the motherboard. I downloaded it when I originally had the issue, and for some reason that did not, the, the USB was faulty, and, oh, get my finger out of the way here, and the machine, the, the Windows wouldn't recognize the USB, I don't know what happened, I went to go plug it in, and that's when things went south. So, I got another one here, I tried to use that USB, and I think on my, a, one, a part of, uh, a mistake on my part, was that the USB, of course, has the parameters for this machine, doesn't quite meet that. And I forgot to wipe out the old info that was on there. The machine turned on, it beeped like multiple times, like six, seven times in a row. And then it, it, it's, it, it's doing what it's doing now, but it was doing that before I put that USB in. So, and now that I got the new motherboard in, I'm having the exact same problem. So if someone can, Tell me what's up. Yeah, I'm going to try to rush out here, see if I get a brand new USB, put the new, newest, latest uh, software on it for the firmware, for the motherboard, and see what happens right now. It's a $500 paperweight just sitting here, <laughs> and that's not good. Anyway, hope somebody can help. Thanks.